Uh, and I think it's important to make uh, clear that this feasibility study was not a product of the EPA, but was uh, from the Beezer consultants. And it's obvious to me that they're trying to get the cheapest, quickest fix that they can to absolve themselves of any responsibility for cleaning up the site. Um, it's a sham, and I think it needs to be called into question in its basic fundamental assumptions. Um, we have a ticking time bomb that threatens not only the, self, the health and safety of the neighborhood and the residents, but the drinking supply, the water supply of the whole community within 50 years could be contaminated if this is not done properly and correctly for the first time. In my opinion, we don't have a second chance at this. We've waited over 25 years to do it, and it's time to do it properly. The neighbors have repeatedly asked that the site be cleaned up to residential standards and not commercial industrial standards, and I think most people in this room would agree with that. We've, we've fled with the uh, city commission and the county commission, and they have gone on record asking the EPA and Beezer to clean this up to residential standards because, in fact, we do have three quarters of a mile of neighborhoods and schools and playgrounds that are directly affected by continued nuisance uh, operation of this plant. And it's obvious to me and most of the people, I think the neighbors, that the current operation has to cease and desist. It's a continued public nuisance and it's clear that the noise, the dust, the CCA toxic runoff into the stormwater that continues to this day will still continue under the assumptions that were used to formulate this feasibility study. Nothing has been done to address the fact that we're going to pave over this, make basically a large parking lot, and cover up the problem. Uh, the whole stabilization method with the potass potassium permanganate, as I understand, is not a true, to true and tested technology and the fact that we're not uh, advocating excavation of any of the toxic soil on the site, which is commonly done in Superfund sites at this uh, scale, is not even being contemplated in this option. And I think that's negligent, grossly negligent. And uh, we're going to create, what did we say, uh, what was the size area, something like a 20-acre uh, parking lot, 40-acre parking lot, that's going to have to have additional stormwater uh, generated into, into the creek system and it's going to further impact the neighborhood by creating this. Also, there's no um, consideration of limiting uh, Copper's plant's continued operation or expansion. How do we know that they wouldn't expand further to the west and the north if this option was pursued? And the containment of this slurry wall also it was not noted is only to the east side. There's no containment and I've read through, plotted through the 400 pages of this report, there's no containment advocated on the north or on the western boundaries. Um, also, an untested and unproven technology. So I think, uh, personally, the whole thing should be called into question, and I'd like to see the city commission and county commission uh, direct the health department to petition EPA to reconsider this whole draft and basically start it afresh with some of these uh, concerns that the citizens keep addressing. And uh, thank you for your time.